Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smita. Welcome to my channel. Today I was in a mood for something fun, something different, something unique. One day I was browsing through Instagram and this particular artwork caught my attention. As soon as I looked at it, I felt like there is something in it and I wanted to recreate this and I wanted to look like her. This was done by a beautiful artist by the name of Huff. I'm going to link her Instagram right below in the description box. Go check her out. She has some amazing artwork going on. For today, I'm super excited to create this one. So if you're ready, let's begin. That beautiful girl or princess in the artwork has gray lenses. So I'm going to change my eye color to gray. These are shadow gray lenses from Melon Colors. Super comfy. And if you want a discount code, you'll find that in the description box below. I'm going to start with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer to fill in all the pores and fine lines. And this is going to form that base for the foundation. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Dream Liquid Mousse by Maybelline in the shade 90. I'm going to dot it across my face and neck before I spread it out using a new brush from Sigma. It's the Rose Gold Kabuki brush. And if you look closely on the foundation bottle, it says it gives you an airbrush finish. I totally agree with that. I used to reach out to this foundation pretty much every single day. But of course, now we have so many choices. But a few years ago, this was my go-to foundation. You would see me use it quite often in my tutorials. And anytime I had to go out to either meet brands or to meetings, I would always be in this foundation. To conceal around my eyes and to spot correct, I'm going to be using the Milani Concealer in the shade 145. And I'm going to be blending out with a damp beauty sponge by Colourpop. Looking at the picture, oh, thank God. There isn't like too much of highlighting and crazy contouring going on. There's a lot of blush and bronzer, of course. But other than that, it doesn't feel very Instagram-ish kind of a makeup, which I absolutely love because in real life, we don't really do Instagram makeup, do we? Before this concealer starts to settle in the fine lines and crease, I'm going to quickly set it with some loose powder. And the one that I'm using is Airspun. I'm going to dip the same ColourPop sponge in the powder and slowly press it in areas where I use the concealer. And then I'm going to be using the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Press Powder in the shade Medium Beige to set my entire face. So we have the base set and it doesn't move. To double set and seal this base, I'm going to be also using a setting spray. This is the 24 karat setting spray by Physicians Formula. Okay, so now we have a clean canvas and this is where the artwork actually begins. Let's start with the brows before we do the eyes. And as always, I'm going to be using my favorite Precisely My Brow from Benefit in the shade 4.5. I'm going to start by just filling in the sparse areas first so I can get some shape. And then as you see in the picture, the brows are a tad deeper. So I'm going to fill it in just a bit, especially in the front portion, which I usually ignore. But today I'm going to go ahead and fill it in to stay true to the artwork. And then to set my brows, I'm going to be using Gimme Brow again from Benefit. And because I didn't use any powder to set my lids after concealer, it's creased a bit. So before we start the eye makeup, I'm going to use a brush to take off those creases. The eyeshadow palette that I'll be using today is Main Squeeze from Colourpop because we'll be working with a lot of reds. I'll have to do a little bit of guesswork with my red eyeshadow because we can't see much in this artwork. Um, so to begin with, I'm going to be using Froze. This is going to be my transition using this large blending brush from Sigma. It's the Sigma E40. I'm going to use it in the outer corner and the crease and then I'm going to soften it. Thank you. 
And then using a flat fluffy brush by Do Color, I'm going to smoke it out in my lower lash line. To deepen the crease further, I'm going to dip into Like It's Hot. And the brush that I'm using is a smaller blending brush by Colourpop. And I'm going to focus the shade right at the crease and later blend it out with the transition shade using a larger blending brush. Because I can't see the eye makeup clearly, I'm using my imagination and I think we will go with a beautiful red smoky eye. And then I'm going to use the same shade in my lower lash line to deepen the lash line. And the brush that I'm using is a flat firm brush by Wet n Wild. Next I'm going to use Home Slice which is actually a shimmery red. Very beautiful. I'm going to apply it all over my lid with my finger. It looks a bit orange on camera because it has a little bit of shimmer. So with light, it shines differently. But in person, it's a true beautiful red. I'm going to use a small blending brush one more time to make sure everything is well blended and we don't have any harsh lines. To tight line as well as to pull out a small wing and line my top lash line, I'm going to be using the Ofra Gel Liner in black. And the brush that I'm using is my favorite eyeliner brush from Carity. It's the E21. And then I'm going to finish up with a pair of lashes but before that let's prep my natural lashes by curling it and applying a coat of mascara. The one that I'm using is their Real Mascara again from Benefit Cosmetics. And for lashes I'm using one of my favorite lashes Brazen from Black Label. And here's the completed eye look. So simple and so sultry. All we did is use three shades of red. Two for transition and one on the lid. So it's a monotone red smoky eye. And we finish with eyeliner and false lashes. Now let's finish the rest of the face and add some accessories to reveal the completed look. To make things easy, I'm using the Juno Bombshell Palette. This has everything to sculpt your face. I'm going to start with the bronzer. I'm looking at the artwork and only adding it in areas very lightly just to sculpt my face. And then we'll use the blush. I'm going to apply the blush a little differently this time. I just apply it high up in my cheekbones. But today I'm going to bring it to the apples of my cheeks just to match up with the artwork. Although it's very difficult to tell from an artwork whether there's highlighter or not, I'm going to use very little just to add a nice glow to the face to attract more light. I'm not going to be doing like the Instagram highlighter focused in areas. This is going to be more like an overall glow. And for that beautiful red lip, I'm going to be using Candied by Carity. That black border around the lips looks fabulous in that artwork, but in real life, it's a no-no. So I'm going to use a brown pencil to go around my lips. And that completes the makeup. And now for the accessories, I'm super excited about the turban. I tied my hair in a bun first, so I took all my hair up. And I did a messy bun just so it's larger in volume because the turban looks pretty large on top. I'm sure you all recognize this dupatta. I've used it so many times. This is the closest at home that I could find that was similar to the turban. All I did is I took the dupatta in the back and brought it front and went cross. And on one side, I just tied it around the bun and I pinned it with a safety pin and I left the other side free.
and then i realized i should have probably put on my nose ring first because as you can see it goes inside of the turban but it wasn't such a big deal and then i had to alter some of my earrings older ones some broken some new into a headpiece as well as new set of earrings and i also made this necklace myself with some old broken jewelry that i had and the shawl that i'm wearing is actually a sari of mine that i've just wrapped around and here is the completed look thumbs up if you enjoyed this video i hope you like such videos i really enjoy creative videos what do you guys think let me know everything in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to thumbs up for your convenience i've listed all the products that i've used in the description box right below this video you'll also find my socials as well as um, the artist socials in the description box right below this video so make sure to check us out i love you guys so much and i will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys!